Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Intel Core i7 2600K. Now this is, at the time of filming, the highest and Intel Core i7 processor on the LGA 1155 platform. So I'm going to tell you what it has going for it in relation to the other Core i7s on the LGA 1155. Look, look at the thing. On the LGA 1155 socket. As soon as I escape over here to go show you all of the other Intel Core i7 products that I have to unbox before this day is through. Okay, so here is the 2600K. It is a quad core, just like all of the others here. Now here are the advantages it has over the other products. It has an eight meg cache, okay? Just like the other 2600, that is an i7, but the i5s only have a six meg cache, okay? It has turbo mode, which all of these processors do. They all have turbo boost, but the core i3s do not. It has hyper threading, which the i5s do not. So both the 2600K and the 2600 have hyper threading. And then the 2600K also is unlocked. So that means that you can overclock it as high as possible with a P67 or Z68 motherboard using multiplier adjustments to turn up the clock speed and there are no limits. So here, I guess they're going to say pretty much everything I just said. It also includes the HD Graphics 3000 engine, has smart cache technology, integrated memory controller, which we know supports dual channel DDR3, and it has a three-year limited warranty, like pretty much every Intel processor in the last little while. So these are the code name Sandy Bridge family of processors, and this one comes clocked at 3.4 gigahertz by default, but that's kind of deceptive because turbo mode, which works on every motherboard, will actually turn up the clock speed of this processor up to four speed bins higher than that. That is up to 3.8 gigahertz if you are using a single threaded application. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so inside the box we find new eco-friendly cardboard packaging from Intel. The first thing we see is a stock heatsink, which looks exactly the same as the stock heatsinks we found on the LGA 1156 family of processors, because it is the same. It uses the same mounting hole, same fan, same heatsink design, and ooh, a copper slug in the middle. Very nice. And then, once I figure out how on earth to open this, aha, there we go. Darth Vader mask style of opening. I can dig it. So this is the 2600K itself. As I mentioned before, this is a fully fledged Intel Sandy Bridge 1155 chip. That means it has turbo, tech, turbo, turbo boost technology. It has hyper threading technology. It is clocked the highest out of all of the LGA 1155 core series processors and it is fully unlocked for maximum overclocking. Now it looks very similar to an 1156 CPU, but the difference is that these keys here, these notches in the side, are positioned differently so that you cannot accidentally install it in an LGA 1155 motherboard. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the i7-2600K, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other technology videos. Also, check out on my NCIX Com channel, the overclocking guide for this particular CPU, and I will try to remember to put in an annotation with the link to that, but if not, then someone please leave a comment so people can find it.